Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having. To make that life worth living, we have to remain reasonably in good health, or at least those of us who'd like to make a good living. What we know is that how we dress, how we act, how we take care of ourselves impacts the type of work that we do in our lifetime. When I was working as an educator in my local community, in my local natural school system, I dressed a certain way. We had the right to dress business casual pretty much every day. There were other people, other men and women, who chose to dress in sweatpants, but that's not me. I'm also not an old-fashioned basketball trainer man. I had one in the seventh grade. I remember I had to really be upset about it because it was not a color I wanted, but it gave me the pants color I needed that was black, and openly my mom paid for it, so I have to be thankful for that. What I can tell you is as a man and as my career has made a shift to take back advantage of things I did when I was in high school and things that I've done through college and things that I've been doing my whole adult life in the working world of a business entrepreneur that my current presence and current fashion was supposed to be utilized by a politician to develop a storyline on something that we have to be talking about in the present conditions of COVID. But some bastard or bitch of the force thought they had the right to keep sexually attacking my life of privacy in homelessness and every night practically I wake up and my marketing plan for my life is being fucked by someone who keeps grooming my face in their ill-willed, inappropriate sexual assault on my body. Now I experienced those inappropriatenesses in jail by someone putting me out with a chemical in my food and I was gone and out and knocked out completely, I believe, for three days. I can only say that based on the timeline of when I went into a particular unit and when I was literally woken by someone who tried to give me extra food. And that young black girl with curly hair probably thought that I'd be starving by that time and was pretty much right. She gave me a whole bunch of extra cookies in my lunch sack. Because at jail, they don't always provide you a hot meal on a Sunday at night. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is happening to us, and there's always a bastard of the force, a liar of a lineage, a liar who's a lesbian, a bitch who's a gay man, who thinks he has rights to play his little fetish game on a person's life. But what I'm talking about is abuse, and it is an abuse to pretend that you are a groomer or a fashion expert on someone's life. What they have done is destroyed a plan that I made with a very high up politician to utilize my current look to talk about something important for America.